Hey everyone, hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to another one here on the RC Explain channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at hard case lithium polymer battery pack and comparing the temperature of the actual cell by breaking the case open on half of the case side and measuring the temperature there versus the temperature that we can measure on the hard case face. So we're gonna compare those there. I'm expecting there to be a significant difference. We're gonna see exactly what we get here very very shortly. The first thing that I have to do here is I want to take this battery pack. We tested this not too long ago here on the channel. This happens to be a Spectre. I'm going to leave a link in the description so that you can see exactly how that test went and to understand why it's in the condition that it's in with the case half removed and all of that. So in this video, what we're going to be doing here is I'm going to load this up so that we're able to measure 60 degrees Celsius in terms of our temperature on this face of the battery pack. That's about 140 degrees Fahrenheit if you're using those units and what we're going to do is see what the temperature is there versus the temperature that we measure on the hard case. So this is actually the hard case that's glued on by spectrum right from the factory to the pouch cells and we're going to be able, be able to see if there's a difference between this side and the other. I'm expecting there to be a significant difference in temperature because the plastic case is going to act like more of an insulator than a thermal conductor. So let's go ahead and get this up to temperature and then we'll come back here and measure the differences that we see on the actual battery pack. All right, here is the Spectrum battery and we're gonna use the temp gun here. We're gonna turn it on by just pulling the trigger and we're measuring temperatures here on the pouch side. So as you can see, we're measuring anything from 59. I just saw a couple spikes of 60.8 as our absolute maximum. Let's switch it over to the other side and measure this side. So we see off the bat 45 down to 40 and then we're seeing 46. We got 48 there that we are just shy on. So already we can see a massive difference between the 60 versus the 48 on the one side. When we start to measure down the length of the pack, we would expect that there's gonna be some variations here. You know, on the end we're seeing 53, on the side we're also seeing 53. And as we get closer to where those wires are, it starts to climb even a little bit higher. So on the side we see about 53 to 54 and as we climb closer to where the wires are located, we see upwards of 55 and it bounced back to some values because it probably wasn't even reading the actual cell pouch there. And there you have it for the, the and there you have it for the temperature differences. Results are in and they speak for themselves. If you're measuring the outside case of a battery pack, you're gonna be measuring definitely a different temperature than what the actual cells inside of that case are exposed to. So this can be quite dangerous for the cells themselves, especially if you, see, if you think that they are under that 60 degrees Celsius mark and they are definitely beyond that 60 degrees Celsius. That's what's dangerous, that's what we want to avoid. There's a couple things that we can do to help us more guarantee that we don't exceed that 60 degrees Celsius mark. What I like to do is I like to place in a soft case lithium polymer battery pack into my radio controlled vehicle and I like to run it with that soft case. I usually choose a battery pack that does not perform as well as the hard case battery pack. I base this on simply internal resistance. We got tons of videos that go through internal resistance of battery packs and how you can tell the difference using just our charger. Then I run that battery pack aggressively in the radio controlled vehicle and then I bring it back and measure the temperature. If I'm under that 60 degrees Celsius mark with the run that I just made, knowing that it is more aggressive and the battery pack is not as good as the hard case battery that I'm going to be using, this is what helps me know and understand that the temperature of that battery pack inside the hard case should not be above 60 degrees Celsius. This is of course a more simplistic approach and it is also an approach that doesn't require any additional tools. However, we do have to keep in mind that it's not an absolute guarantee that we're going to exceed that temperature. Another method we can use here is the measured case temperature that we just went through. You can even take a little bit off of that temperature so that you have some headroom knowing that we should never hit that 60 degrees Celsius point. This is not of course a guarantee as well, but it's another form that we can use to measure hard case lithium polymer battery packs and know that we have a good approximate value that will let us know when things could be very bad. And the last method that we can use, this is the method of course that I use in all of these videos. I crack open the case, I make room so I can get a sensor on there, and then I know the actual temperature of the cell. 
This is the only true way of understanding what temperature your battery pack is at, unless you have a smart lithium polymer battery pack that measures the temperature with the case already on there. Well guys, that pretty well does it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.